Uh, why was today so hard? Uh, I don't know, but yes, today was quite difficult. Looks like you two had quite a day. We sure did, sir. We're feeling quite slow and sluggish. And don't know why. Well, when did you start to feel that way? First thing this morning. Hmm. I think I might know the problem. I feel sluggish first thing in the morning, too, until I go through my morning routine, that is. Morning routine? A morning routine helps us prepare for the day. What do you do in your morning routine? I begin with breakfast. A healthy breakfast gives you a boost of energy. Next, I always brush my teeth. Finally, I get nice and clean with a shower. And after all that, I feel fresh and bright, ready for the day. That sounds nice. But what would our morning routine be? I'm glad you asked. James! My morning routine isn't all that different to Sir Topham's, and I'd be glad to show you. That would be great, James. First, I fill my firebox with fresh coal. This will heat your boiler, make your tummy nice and warm and give you the fuel to start your day. Next, a good wheel scrubbing. This will help your wheels move smoothly on the tracks. After that comes my favourite part, a warm, bubbly wash. <laughs> this part tickles sometimes. <laughs> And now I'm looking splendid and ready for anything. Thank you, James, for showing us. Would you two like to try a morning routine tomorrow? <gasps> Absolutely! Me too! all the animals. Me too. In fact, I can make a really great cow sound. Want to hear? <coughs> moo! <laughs> that is a very good moo. <gasps> Did you hear that? That sounded like a cow. But I don't see any cows. Where could they be? Maybe if we figure out where cows sleep or eat, we might find them. Grass! Cows! 
cows eat grass and sleep in grass too, but in a big open area. Well, let's try over there. There they are! Cows! Ooh. <gasps> pigs! Oh, pigs are so funny. But where are they? I think they like to lay in the mud. Of course. They don't call it a pig pen for no reason. They must be there in a pig pen. Oink, 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 oink. oink. That sounded like a rooster. Don't roosters live in a coop? Let's find him. Is he there? I see chickens, but no rooster. Hmm. When roosters crow, they need to be somewhere everyone can hear them. Hmm. Where could that be? <gasps> Percy! Up there! Look! <laughs> we found him! <laughs> cock a doodle -doo! <laughs> <laughs> That was so much fun, Thomas! I just love farm animals! Moo! Oink, oink! cock a doodle -doo! the shape to fit in there. A triangle has three sides though. So that's where the triangles go. Circles are round like Percy's face. A circle will go in that place. Like an egg, place oval cargo overhead. Rectangles have two long sides. Let's fit a rectangle inside. Inside, look for shapes all around. There are so many to be found. No two shapes. Look at those two birds! Oh yes! And look at their colours! They're different! Just like us! <gasps> what do you mean? We're not different! <laughs> I'm blue and you're green! It's just one way that we are different! Everyone is different! And our differences are what make us special! Aren't we all just tank engines? <laughs> Here, let me show you! Follow me! Look, see Toby? He's different than us. He has a square face. Oh, yes, that's true. But not that different, really. Well, that's just one example. Harold is definitely different. He's not an engine at all. I can see how that's different. But what's so special about not being an engine? Whoa! Yes, that is very special. Differences can be beautiful. Let's find more. Ooh, ooh, Cranky is different. He's really tall. Taller than anyone else I know. Now you're getting it, Percy. Um, who else? How about Sir Topham Hat? Sir Topham is very different. 
He's not an engine or a helicopter or a crane. He's a person and a wonderful person at that. <laughs> he wears a top hat too. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. It's so amazing how different everyone is. Absolutely. We don't have to be the same. And that's OK. Diversity means being different. Being different is what makes us special. If we all looked the same and all liked the same things, it would be really boring. It's fun that everyone is different. Yes, it is, Percy. Yes, it is. <laughs> What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite food. Oh no, where did they go? The animals have escaped and it's getting late. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite food. Monkeys like bananas. Most they pick them from the trees. Pandas chew on green bamboo that grows in shoots and leaves. Oh no, where did they go? The animals have escaped and it's getting late. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon. Let's bring them back with their favorite food. Koalas much eucalyptus for lunch to give them energy. Baby elephants love apples crunch. They eat them as a treat. Oh no, where did they go? The animals have escaped and it's getting late. What shall we do? They'll be hungry soon Let's bring them back with their favorite food It's so beautiful outside today, but so hot as well In the summer, when the weather is hot and sunny, it's important to protect yourself from the sun and find shade to stay cool Oh, good idea, Gordon We'll keep that in mind. But it's all about to change. Really? The weather is always changing, but with each new season comes new weather, and we need to be ready. Huh? How so? Hmm. How about we take a trip through the four seasons? Follow me! So, as we know, summer is hot and sunny. It's fun to play, but... But we must keep cool. <laughs> That's right. But how is that different than this season? Whoa! The leaves on the trees are all beautiful colours. Orange, red, yellow. <laughs> and it's getting darker earlier, not to mention a bit chillier. That is correct. This is autumn, which is quite different from this season. This must be winter. I love the snow. Me too. But we have to wear snow plows in winter to help clear the snow from the tracks. That's correct. Just one more season now. What could this season be? Such lovely, colourful flowers. The leaves on the trees are green again. I think we're in spring. Right again. So in autumn, the leaves change colour and in winter, it gets cold and snows. In the springtime, flowers bloom and leaves sprout. And in summer, it's sunny and hot. 
Well done, Thomas and Percy. That's the weather in each season. for our cargo cars to be ready. But that's okay. We don't want to rush things. We just need to be patient and wait. I can do that. <coughs> ah, here we go, Percy. After you. Why, thank you, Thomas. Uh, I'll take that one. Diesel, hold on. There we go. I'm ready for the day. What? What's wrong? You pushed in line and took Percy's cargo car. That wasn't very nice. Oh, I was only trying to get on with my day. I get that. But aren't you forgetting something important, Diesel? Ah. Uh... Using your manners. Manners? What do you mean, manners? How we treat one another is very important. And having good manners is the kind and polite way to avoid hurting someone's feelings. Right. Like what? Well, waiting your turn is good manners. If you don't wait your turn, that means you're taking someone else's turn. And when Ooh, you... And when I took Percy's cargo car, I was taking his turn. Well, that's right. And it's also important to wait your turn to talk. Oh, I just interrupted, didn't I? Oh, that's not good manners. I'm getting this now. Thanks for helping me. <gasps> that's good manners, Diesel. Saying thank you. Uh, Percy, please take this cargo car. It was yours after all. Diesel, you said please. That's great manners. Thomas, I'll go after you and take the next cargo car. I'll be sure to think about how to use my manners by saying please and thank you more often. That's wonderful, Diesel. Having good manners is a great way to respect other people and to make sure no one gets their feelings hurt. Says to separate. 
rates the right thing to do when you Cranky to take back But there's one thing That they must do The things that you recycle Must be separated too When you recycle Recycle What bin does the can go in? In the metal bin where does this newspaper go? In the paper bin. We're learning what we need to do. The things that you recycle must be separated too. When you recycle. Recycle. Plastics and metals Cranky says to separate the right thing to do when you recycle. Thomas, what's your favourite colour in the whole world? Blue. It's the colour of the sky. That pretty bird and <laughs> me. Can you guess my favourite colour? Uh, green? How did you know? <laughs> because you are green, Percy. Oh, looks like Sir Topham Hatt is doing a little arts and crafts project. Mm, uh, I suppose this'll do. Hello, sir. What are you doing? Hello, Thomas and Percy. We're preparing for a parade by painting these train coaches different colours. But I wanted lots of different colours. Instead, we just have these three colours, red, blue and yellow. Is there a way we can make more colours? Oh, we need to think. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, no. <gasps> Is that making a new colour? Mixing red and blue made purple, just like Charlie. So, if you take two colours and mix them together, you get a new colour. And I might be able to paint these train coaches how I originally wanted. Huh, I wonder what other colours we can make. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's try it. Mixing red and yellow colours together made orange. Just like Nia. What does blue and yellow make? Oh, I hope it makes my favourite colour. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Just like you, Percy. It did make my favourite colour. Thomas and Percy, I cannot thank you enough. Now I can paint these train coaches many different colours just how I imagined. Happy to help, sir. And we should probably help clean up. Is there a fun way to clean up all this paint? Red! Blue! Purple! Green! Yellow! Orange! When you wake up on a beautiful day What's your morning routine? When you wake up on a beautiful day What's your morning routine? Sir Topham Hatt says You must prepare for the day He has a healthy breakfast Brushes his teeth Has a shower And everything's A-OK -okay. When you wake up on a beautiful day What's your morning routine? What's your morning routine? Brush your teeth, eat your breakfast, then get nice and clean. When you wake up on a beautiful day, what's your morning routine? Look, there's James. I wonder why he looks so 
fresh. He must have a morning routine. That's why he looks his very best when you wake up on a beautiful day. What's your morning routine? Fresh coal. Scrub off the wheels. Then get nice and clean. When you wake up on a beautiful day. What's your morning routine? When you wake up on a beautiful day. What's your morning routine? When you wake up on a beautiful day. What's your morning routine? Oh, I hope Percy comes back soon. It's almost time to go to sleep. Oh, that must be him now. Hello, Percy, my fro. Oh, <laughs> Percy, what happened? I've been making deliveries in the muddy countryside all day, so now I'm a mess. Quite a mess indeed. If you'll excuse me. Hello, Percy. Hello, Emily. And good night, Emily. I'm going to sleep. But, Percy, you're so muddy. You can't go to sleep like that. You need to do your bedtime routine first. Emily is right. But what is a routine? A routine is something you do in the same way each and every day. And having a bedtime routine is an important part of falling asleep. Wow! I hadn't thought about it that way. Let's try it. First, I start my bedtime routine by cleaning myself up. Like this. <laughs> oh, <it> tickles. <laughs> then I read a story or have someone tell me a story. Blah, 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 blah. And that's how I used one of my birthday wishes to save the day. The end. <sighs> oh, I can feel myself getting tired already. And finally, I take three deep breaths to help my body relax. Hmm. I'd like to try that. Oh, ooh, uh, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, yes. <sighs> Lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you so much, Thomas and Emily. I really do feel tired. <gasps> wow, cleaning up and mm. having a good bedtime routine is a great way to fall asleep. Now, let's go to sleep before we wake him. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Emily. track that we're riding through. Let's find out what the animals do. Where are the cows and what do they eat? Where do they sleep? Well, cows sleep on grass in wide open spaces. Cows eat grass too. Yes, it's true. track that we're riding through. Let's find out what the animals do. Where are the pigs? Oh, where could they be? I wonder where they sleep. Well, pigs like mud. They sleep in a pen. Inside a fence. It looks such a mess. Animals can hear. Look on the roof. Cock a doodle doo. Moo moo oink oink cock a doodle doo. There's cows and pigs and a rooster too. On the farm by the track that we're riding through. Let's find out what the animals. 
animals do. Moo moo, oink oink, cock a doodle doo. We found out what the animals do. Ah, today is going to be a great day. Um, I suppose. Percy, is there something wrong? Well, I, I have a special delivery today and it it's causing me to feel something. Something? Yes, something. I I'm not sure what this feeling is, but it's causing me to not want to make the special delivery. Can you help me figure it out, Thomas? Of course, Percy. Let's try it together. Are you feeling happy? Oh, like Nia. Look, Nia looks very happy. Mm, no, I don't think I feel happy. Oh, what about sad? Now Nia is feeling sad. That's not how I'm feeling either. Hmm. What about surprised? Are you feeling surprised? Surprised is when your face goes... I don't think it's surprised. So it's not happy, and it's not sad, and it's not surprised. Thomas, will we ever figure this out? Not solving this is making me nervous. Wait, what? Nervous. You know, when you feel worried or maybe even a little scared about something. That's it! I'm feeling nervous because this special delivery is bigger than any I've ever done before. I'm worried I won't be able to do it. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Oh, thank you for helping me figure that out, Thomas. Would you like me to help you, Percy? Making deliveries with a friend would make me a little less nervous. Thank you, Thomas. That actually makes me feel less nervous. Now I am feeling happy. Me too. Shall we go to make this delivery? Let's do it! Engine? He's a different kind of vehicle. Vehicle? What's a vehicle? A vehicle is something used for moving all sorts of things around. Like what? Like a fire truck. Flynn's a fire truck, which is a vehicle that helps put out fires. But that's just one kind of vehicle. There are so many. Oh, I'd love to learn them all. But how? Well, sometimes if you look closely at the clouds, you can see fun shapes. Maybe we can find some vehicle shapes in the clouds. 
Great idea. Let's try it, Thomas. Oh, there. That one looks like a helicopter. A helicopter is a vehicle that quickly moves people or things by flying them high up in the air with the help of its big propellers. Oh, yes. I see it. It looks just like Harold. <laughs> it sure does. What other vehicles are there? Oh, I see a dump truck. Yes. See, doesn't that look just like Monty? Oh, yes. Now I see it. Mm-hmm. A dump truck is a vehicle that can hold lots of loose dirt, move it around and put it somewhere else. Now I want to find one this time. I see one! I see one! That cloud looks like a boat with its little triangle sail. I see it too. It looks just like Skiff the sailboat. He's a vehicle that moves by the power of the wind. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I think you are too. Helicopter, sailboat, dump truck. Spotting vehicles is fun. <laughs> it sure is. I wonder what other vehicles we might see. I can't wait to find out. In the summertime, it's hot. In the wintertime, it's not. There are four seasons. That's the reason why the weather changes. Autumn. And sunny, and it's fun to play. It's important to keep cool. Let's see how the seasons change. Autumn is the season when not much will grow. The leaves change their colors orange, red, and yellow. It gets darker early, that means earlier to bed. Autumn's really great. Let's see what is next. Winter is the coldest. Snow falls on the ground. It's falling on the track. The engines need their plows. In spring, the flowers grow. The leaves are green again. They get lots of sun and a little bit of rain. In the summertime, it's hot. In the wintertime, it's not. There are four seasons. That's the reason why the weather changes. Autumn, winter, summer. My musical bird friend. Why did he fly away, Thomas? I think it might be because you were whistling quietly at first, but then whistled very, very, very loudly. Because quiet and loud are opposites. Opposites? What are opposites? Opposites are two things that are different from each other. Like what? Would you like to learn some opposites? Let's try it. Let's find an opposite. Ah, there! See that mountain in the distance? How would you describe it? B. And what about that teeny tiny rock down there? Small? Yes! Big and small are opposites. Oh! What else? Ah, see your bird friend high in the sky? Oh, yes! He's way up high! And what about that kitty cat? She's low on the ground. Yes, the bird is up high and the cat is down low. High and low are opposites. I think I'm getting it. Let me try one. Um, the sun can be quite hot. And the wind feels cold. 
cold. Are hot and cold opposites? Yes, they are. Great job, Percy. Hmm. So I scared the bird because I was too loud. I'd better do the opposite and keep my whistle quiet. <laughs> I think that just might work. <laughs> It's the only way to be Don't forget your manners Say thank you and say please Don't push in line Be polite Just take your time Be polite When Diesel is impatient And things aren't going right Don't push Don't rush Say thank you And please Be the best can be Diesel took the cargo car from Percy that's not the way to be he needs to wait his turn slow down remember to be polite it's the only way to be don't forget your manners say thank you and say please be polite Just take your time Be polite It's important when Thomas speaks That you listen to what he has to say Try not to interrupt Be respectful, remember to Be polite, it's the only way to be Don't forget your man Say thank you and say please Diesel's doing great He's polite It's okay to wait Be polite I've got a good feeling That things will work out fine If we're kind Polite Say thank you And please We're the best that we can be Percy, it's Emily. Hello, Emily. How are you? Not good, Thomas. I've lost my friendship chain. That's awful. Percy and I would be happy to help you look for it. That's wonderful. Now, whereabouts did you lose it? I'm not quite sure, but I passed 20 freight trucks since I last remember having it. So, if we head back the way you came and count 20 freight trucks as we go, we should be able to find your friendship chain no problem. Well, I've never counted that high. How will I know when we get to 20? I'll help you, Percy. Really? Let's try it. This one is easy. One. Let's do this together and I'll help you when you need it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> You're doing great, Percy. Thanks, Thomas. Though this is where it starts to get tricky for me. That's OK. Just repeat each number after me. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. And look, Thomas, we did it. We found Emily's friendship chain. And you counted to 20, Percy. Well done. Here is your friendship chain, Emily. Thank you so much, Thomas and Percy. You are very welcome. You're welcome. What should we count now, Percy? Hmm, how about... Trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, and ninety, and ninety, twenty. That's a lot of trees, Thomas. What is Thomas's favorite color? He loves blue. Like the sky and like that bird and his paint job too. What is Percy's favorite color? He loves green. Look, Sir Topham Hat. Look.
looks like he needs help today. He wanted to paint the coaches, but there's just not enough paint. He wanted to paint with lots of colors, but this is all he's got. Red, blue, and yellow, some colors, but not a lot. What to do, what to do? Oh no, look out, he's tripped. The colors have splashed on the floor. Now they're starting to mix. <gasps> it's the color purple, just like Charlie. You can mix the colors, what colors can you make? Purple just like Charlie, he's made from red and blue. You can mix the colors, together they will make lots of lovely colors. Let's start with red and yellow. now. Got it, 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 got it! Ha ha! This is so much fun, Percy! <laughs> hey! Who took our ball? I did! Diesel! That's not very nice! I'm just having fun! <gasps> Diesel! That is not fun! It isn't! Well, it was just a joke! Not for us. I'm sorry. I was trying to join in the fun. Maybe I should have joined in a different way. But how? We can show you. A good friend plays well with others by thinking about their feelings. Hmm. So if I think about your feelings and not just my own, I'm more likely to share. Exactly. A good friend shares and takes turns. Your turn, Diesel. Catch. Yeah, that does feel nice. I'd like to give Sharon a shot. Perhaps we could share with some other friends. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, catch! <laughs> 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 James! Heads up! Oh! <laughs> Sharing feels great! <laughs> oh! It sure does! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is worried, Percy's really late. So tired, he just wants to go to sleep. Percy, you're dirty, you can't go to sleep. You really should be doing your bedtime routine. A routine is something you do every day. A bedtime routine you do to go to bed. Get yourself Get 
yourself cleaned up and don't miss that bit there. Thomas will read to you and you can settle down. Every night before you take yourself to sleep, you should be doing your bedtime routine. Just like Percy and look, he's fast asleep. Snuggle down, breathe three times a sweep. Dreams, everyone. <laughs> you may be fast, Percy, but I'm faster. You may be faster, Thomas, but I'm fastest. <laughs> Oops. Huh? Oh no. Who's made all this mess on my dockside? Sorry, Cranky. We did. Well, you both need to clean it up. But that would take forever. But it's important to clean up after ourselves. If someone else came down this track, they wouldn't be able to get past. Or worse, they might get hurt. So leaving a mess can create a problem for someone else. I don't want to do that. Cleaning up is the right thing to do. But this sure is a lot to clean. Well, I'm happy to help. Let's try it. Where should we start? We could put everything in a pile. And then I lift each item and put them back where they belong. It'll be a lot of work, but maybe it'll be a lot of fun too. You know what makes everything fun? Singing a little song. Cleaning up can be lots of fun If you sing, sing, sing till the job is done Cleaning up is helpful too Leave a tidy place for me and you Wow, Percy, that was super fast. And super fun. And super clean. Who knew cleaning could be so fun? With everything back in its proper place, the tracks and the docks are clean for other friends to use. Thanks for teaching us the importance of cleaning up after ourselves, Cranky. You're welcome. Want to race some more, Percy? Sure, and maybe we'll find more to clean along the way. Cleaning up can be lots of fun If, if you sing, 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 sing till, till the job is done Cleaning up is helpful too Leave a tidy place for me and you What a lovely morning, what a lovely day Thomas is happy and bubbly today Something is wrong. It's today that Percy takes a special load. It is a special job, but Percy is low. How are you feeling, Percy? Do you know how to tell? Everyone has feelings and they can change as well. The butterfly has landed on Mia's nose. She is so happy just to watch her smile grow. But look, now the butterfly has just flown away Poor Nia misses her and is sad again Feelings, feelings Percy, tell us how you're feeling Are you feeling a bit surprised? Percy, tell us how you feel You're not happy or surprised and you're not feeling sad Thomas is nervous, his friend is feeling bad Percy, are you nervous about your special load? Yes, you're feeling nervous and the feeling won't go Feelings, feelings Percy, tell us how you're feeling Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling scared? Percy, tell us how you feel Tell us how you're feeling Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling scared? Percy, tell us how you feel <sighs> Percy, what's wrong? Nothing. Why? I just heard you say grr. You heard me say grr? Grr. I did it again. Wait, that's not me. Who is that? 
Ooh, just go in. Why won't you fit them? This is making me very... Cranky, what's wrong? Oh, hello, Thomas. Hello, Percy. I'm trying to organise all this cargo into all of these crates, but I can't get them to fit. Hmm, all the crates seem to be different shapes, and all the cargo are different shapes as well. Maybe if we figure out what shape each crate is, we can figure out which cargo goes in which crate. Let's try it. What shape is the crate you're trying to fit that cargo into? It has four straight equal sides. Must be a square. I think you're right. What about this next one? Three straight sides. Looks like a triangle to me. Looks like that to me as well. And what about this next one? Nice and round, like our faces. A circle. Correct. <laughs> and this one? Hmm, a little tricky. Looks a little bit like a circle, but stretched out like an egg. So, an oval? Looks oval to me. And one more. Looks almost like a square, but two of the sides are longer. So that must mean it's a rectangle. That's right. So now that we know what shapes all of the crates are, all we need to know now is the shape of the cargo. Circle. Square. square triangle, triangle. Oval. Rectangle. It worked. Thank you so much. everything all right? Oh, Thomas, I was on my way to the animal park to drop off a koala, a baby elephant, a monkey and a panda when the cargo door opened up and the animals escaped. Not only that, but it's time for them to eat. They'll be hungry. We'll help you find those animals, Rosie. Hmm. If they are all hungry, maybe we can lure them back with some yummy food. Different animals eat different foods that they need to be healthy. Well, I have four trucks of food behind me. Bananas, bamboo, eucalyptus branches and apples. So we just need to figure out which food belongs to which animal. Let's try it. Hmm, let's see. Monkeys live up in trees, right? And bananas are found in trees, right? So maybe monkeys eat bananas. <laughs> ooh, 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 
It would. What about the panda? What do pandas like to eat? I saw some cute pandas when I was in China and learned that one thing pandas love is eating lots of bamboo. Now the koala. Ooh, uh, koalas come from Australia and they spend most of their time hanging out in eucalyptus trees. So maybe the eucalyptus branches? <laughs> Way to go, Percy. Thanks. But we've used all the food except for the apples. What type of animal eats apples, Thomas? Baby, Baby elephant! elephant. Oh. oh! Thank you so much for helping me find these animals. <laughs> You're welcome, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Very loud, it scares away the birds that hear it Try whistling much quieter now The opposite of loud is quiet Cause opposites are so different Opposites are never the same Can you think of opposites? Let's try now and play a game Mountains look so big to us Across the sky we see them all Rocks look smaller on the ground The opposite of big is small Birds fly past us way up high Just look up and watch them go Cats play down low on the ground The opposite of high is low The sun makes everything feel so hot Shining brightly big and bold a cold wind blows things around a lot The opposite of hot is cold Opposites are so different Opposites are never the same We just found some opposites Come back soon and play again <laughs> 